Here is how to install Stable Diffusion on your local computer. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you the process, the files you need and how to set everything up to run Stable Diffusion. All of this is free and you don't have to pay for running Stable Diffusion locally either. So it's pretty amazing, but you need a pretty beefy computer for that. This install supports a UI so you can run it in your computer as you can see here with the sliders it's very easy to use and this has a lot of functionality text to image image to image in painting out painting upscaling face repair image to text prompt list batch process let's get started with this super easy description on how to set that up by the way one of the steps here requires a windows style download so if you have a Mac I don't know because I don't have a Mac the first thing we need is a Python install I have provided all of the links below the video scroll down here when you're on Windows you want to download the Windows installer 64 bit so click here and download that so the next thing here is the git local branching on the cheap download for Windows again here is a 64 bit windows setup so click on that to download it next we are going to github where we download the actual stable diffusion web ui to download it go here to code and click on download zip next we are going to download the original stable diffusion version 1.4 download 1.5 isn't publicly available yet on this page you will need to create an account but it is for free so don't worry there's two versions here 1.4 and 1.4 full ema so you want to have the second one because it is more complete but it is also pretty big it has about 7.2 gigabytes so that might take a while for you to download Next, we will download the gfpgen files for the face restoration. So scroll down here until you see these green check marks. You want to download version 1.3, which is more natural, and then 1.4, which gives slightly more details. So you have both options. Just to be on the safe side, we are also going to download Notepad++. So click here on that download. It's again the 64-bit version. Now that we have downloaded everything, you should have two folders. One folder where you have downloaded everything into. This is just to make it a little bit easier to find the files. And then also one where you want to install your stable diffusion. Now I put mine on Windows into the documents folder into a folder called SD local. No spaces in between because Stable Diffusion might have a problem with spaces in the name of the directory. The first thing we're going to do is to install the Python version. Double click on that and you go here with install now. After this is done, click on close. Now the next thing you need to do is to double click on your zip file for the Stable Diffusion Web UI Master. When you see this folder here, double click on it and you see all the files in here. Select all of them and then drag them over into your SD local folder you have created in the documents folder. After this is finished and you can see all of the files here, go back to the folder where you have downloaded all of your files and you want to drag the gfpgen 1.3 and 1.4 file over to the SD local folder. So now they are also in here where you have all of your stable diffusion files. Next, click here on the SD version 1.4 full Emma file so that you can change the name and change it to model. Hit enter. And now that the name is changed, click and drag this also into your stable diffusion folder. Now that we are done with this, click on the git exe file to install this. Agree to the license and then click on next and next and next and next and yeah, just next until you're done and then wait for the install to finish and then click on finish. Also click on the NPP installer for Notepad and then finish the install. As a next step, you want to double click here on the web UI minus user dot bat. This will open up this window here. So click on more info 
and click on run anyway. The command window opens up and you might get this error that says exit code 9009. Click on closing the command window. Then right click on the web UI user.bat file. Go to show more options. Select edit with notepad. Here you see set Python. So what you want to do is to click here on your search icon, type Python. You see here you have the app. Right click on that, open file location. This is only a shortcut. Right click on that again, open file location. Now you are where the Python X is. Right click on that, copy as path, then go over to the notepad, click here, and then copy this into this Python line here, like so. Now click on save, go back to your SD local folder and double click again on the web UI user.bat file. This can take pretty long and it's not going to show you any kind of progress indicator. So just wait for it to finish. After the installation is finished, this is what the window should look like. Don't close the window. This needs to stay open as long as you want to use Stable Diffusion locally. The most important part in here is the local URL. You can actually click in here and select that part. Control C to copy. Go into your browser and then paste this in here and go to that page. And you can see that now we have Stable Diffusion locally running. Again, you need to leave this open so that Stable Diffusion can run. Sometimes at the start, this is also downloading additional files that the AI needs. And as you can see here, these can be quite large. This one is 850 megabytes and this is 890 megabytes. When your graphics card is not strong enough and doesn't have enough VRAM to run the Stable Diffusion version, you will get a runtime error here. When you see this, you need to close the command window and restart Stable Diffusion again by clicking again on webui-user.bat for the Windows batch. It will run through the loading process. After this is done, you will see the same local URL again, which means you can bookmark this URL in your browser. It's always to be that URL. In case you're ending up with black or green images, I've linked the troubleshooting page. Now here it says you need to add these arguments, but it doesn't say where. So go to your folder where you have the web UI user bat and then open this up again in the notepad plus plus. In here you see set command line arcs and there you need to put this save and then double click to start the command line with stable diffusion again. After you've done this, it should run fine and you can see I can create images. Also big shout out to Frank the Tank. I learned a lot from his video on how to set up stable diffusion and I added some problem fixes that you've seen in mine. A great resource to find prompts and seeds is lexica.art. This is an archive for stable diffusion images where you can see the prompts used and down here also the seed, the guidance scale and the dimension that has been used and different versions of this prompt in action. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye.